G'day guys. So, I've got a huge problem in my fish room. Um, a lot of you already know about it, but I want to try and address it, or at least figure out where it's coming from. From This might be a bit of a short video. It is Sunday afternoon. Um, I'm going out to dinner, but um, I really want to fix this problem, and I figured today I'll at least identify how to fix it. We might not fix it today, but let's have a gander. All right, so this is where the problem starts. Can you see these trees? The magnitude of these trees is quite large and um, these trees have these tiny little roots. And for anybody who's been playing along since the start of this channel, you'll know I had to dig up my soak well and replace it because these tree roots ruined my soak well. And um, I actually didn't even believe that that's what these were until, um, Matt, my fellow plumber friend, actually confirmed with me, but these roots right here are gum tree roots. Now, my fish room is like quite far away from the trees, but you'll see here, the tree roots are actually growing through my window frame. And um, the only good thing about the tree roots is where this window leaks, um, the water's not this area is usually wet and the the tree roots are actually absorbing up all the water so the floor's not wet which is really the t it's a bad silver lining it's not a good one because it I, ultimately it's masking up a problem um i don't know if they're anywhere else they're not further down oh and also this window here um it's, it's not just it's it's getting really bad I have to repair these windows we might think about doing that sometime soon um, repairing the windows is a huge job but I don't know when we're going to do that but we've either got to repair the windows or redo the pond at once, I was kind of thinking about just doing like a black plastic liner in the pond at one stage, but the, I'm pretty sure the stingrays will stick their, uh, what do you call it? I was going to say spine, their, their spike through it. All right, so the roots are here somewhere, I reckon. So let me move some of this out of the way and I'll have a look with you. All right, guys, so I've cleaned up the area behind the gate. Ugh. The problem is, I'm trying to film and shovel with one hand. Uh, I knew that before I even started filming that this wasn't going to work, but I still tried to do it. Alright, so I'm going to dig some of this out. I can actually move some of the sand over there because the bottom of my shed's rotting away, so, uh, not rotting. I'm falling away because there's no sand there. So I'm going to move some of this sand from here to there off camera and I'll be back. All right guys, I found where they've infiltrated. It was not difficult at all. I pretty much, it was exactly where I presumed. So I've got the high pressure cleaner and I thought we would unveil it together. guys it's it's worse but better than I expected so it's worse in the fact that these are really big roots it's better in the fact that 
there's less roots than I thought. So I thought it was going to be like thousands of little roots. Um, so over here, behind that filter, I've actually sicaflexed the tin to the ground, but there's a lot of the shed which I hadn't got around to, which I'm going to have to really get to to solve this problem. Um, all I have to do is do exactly what I just did then, high pressure hose it all, and then we've got to let it dry, and then I've got to go around there and seal it all. I've got to do the whole shed, not just here. So, um, I really need to get on, onto that. Oh. Check out the size of this one. <laughs> I'm gonna need something to cut them. They've actually like lifted the sheet of the shed. Definitely gonna need a bit of work here. Um, obviously, I can't do it today because it can't be wet. It's got to be dry. So I've got to like maybe use the air compressor and not the high pressure cleaner, and like blow it down and then sicker flex it. But that's where. It, the Jumanji in the shed's coming from. If you haven't seen Jumanji, you won't get that reference. It's weird guys, it's not on this side. There's one there's one little one there. That's actually growing out, not in. So that's coming from inside the shed. But it's not on this side. And the tree the trees are on this side of the shed. And it look like this root looks like it's growing from that direction. So there's a chance that it's coming from one of the trees behind, I doubt it. Um my mate Matt, who is a plumber, said specifically they're gum tree roots, and that's four gum trees along that wall. So um, I'm, I'm guessing the root must come down, go across, and then it's shooting back that way. Both of them are coming from that direction. That's really strange. Uh, that one's actually coming from under the slab, so it's coming around and over. Anyway, I've got to cut them. And hopefully, the only problem now is all those roots that are in the shed are going to die. And it's going to make my fish room stink for a while, I reckon. I can't get under there to get them out. So I've just got to let them perish under the pond. I really should have done this sooner, guys. Look, that took five minutes. And I've known about this for probably a year. <laughs> I guess if that's a lesson for anybody with a fish room is that don't leave your maintenance stuff too long because then you get problems like this. I'm kind of reiterating the fact that I should actually fix the leaks in the windows in the ponds. Um, it's crazy how it hunts the water down like that. Like how did that, that concrete there must have been damp from the leak on the window and like the root has chase the water. I wonder what tree it is. It's probably that first one. No wonder the bloody tree looks so healthy. <laughs> um, but anyway guys, I think I'm going to wrap that one there. Wrap that one up there. That's the bizarre one if you've ever seen. Um, that That's probably one of the most bizarre videos I've done, right? Um, what should we title it? I think I might title it something to do with Jumanji fish room turns into Jumanji or something. Anyway, you guys already know the title. If you like this video, guys, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit the little red button down there. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.